everyone's Dave here and welcome to Demia Battles Overview. We essentially have two similar situations with releases today. You know what I'm talking about, I need to mention it in the other video. <laughs> Battles was announced as an additional mod coming to the original game somewhere later on, but this dev team as well thought to themselves that they can just upgrade the whole thing and expand it to the separate release. Now here though, this was never considered as a main feature or a key part of the game anyways because it's mostly focused on the campaigns and just playing with other people. So in this case scenario I don't mind that the series is split in two not being any more one core consistent gameplay. Like it's about your transparency and intentions and people don't mind anymore. <laughs> so Demio Battles is a spin-off version of the original game where you're turning the table this time around and instead of facing the monsters and the world you play against real life people in the competitive turn based nature using various loadouts and strategies to conquer the battlefield. Battles is pretty much expanding on the already existing concept and using everything that we're familiar with already. If it's with the textures, assets, monsters, pretty much everything was imported but now the gameplay is happening in the PvP situation. Knowing the mechanics, features and all of that stuff I was always curious how that's gonna work even so with the addition of monsters because they themselves in campaign modes have pretty interesting skills but now using them against players it makes things even like more chaotic you still control one champion or two depending if you want to team up with someone all classes are available the builds are based on what you roll and buy in the store apparently there's also a single player so we might focus on that due to the recordings it's like Demia becomes now the RPG system as they call it. It's not necessarily something I envisioned for a second game though it should not be treated as a sequel but rather a spin-off that just offers a different and unique gameplay from its predecessor. If this one will be more interesting to me comparing to the original not quite sure because multiplayer can be sometimes nifty and especially now that we're kind of splitting the community so I wonder if the matchmaking will still be consistent. Anyhow it's good to see Demio back in a different form I guess <laughs> and I'm just curious to find out how everything's work here. <laughs> Let's go battle someone. Have I played Demio before? Hmm, of course. I want to learn battles, yeah. Welcome to the Demio Battles Time Arena. To make some wise choices. Okay, because there were two voices going on. So we have a shop. I wonder if the previous story would be just like from the original one. But we know the mechanics, so whatever. I need to fill with the settings. Welcome to Battles Arena. You will soon face off against your opponent. However, before every match, you'll get 1,500 gold, which you can use to buy cards and creatures from the shop. The cards you buy go into your starting hand. The creatures you buy will fight alongside you in the arena. Uh huh. Go ahead and buy some. There are no wrong choices. I mean. Okay, so from just knowing the game and stuff, I would go for. Elemental. That's very popular. Yeah, throw is nice. fine. No need to save any gold for later. Once you leave the shop, your gold is gone. By the way, if you don't see anything you like, you can always press the shuffle button. Okay. And it can lock the cards. When you're done shopping, press the continue button. I mean, an archer is a given. That's very popular. I wanted this, but I was short 50 gold. Mm, nice. I think that's solid. The glowing area on the level is your starting zone. You can position your units and hero in this area however you like. When you're done, press continue to start the match. 
So I'm controlling two at the same time, I guess. I can place only monsters. Ah, I'm not controlling it, okay. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Blue team, your cover your ears. Your goal is to take down the other team's heroes. I'll join your team with my sorcerer. Last team standing wins. Let's go. So this unlocks cards, I'm assuming. It's a very small stage, kind of. I'm seeing if it's like the same mechanics in terms of damage and stuff. Yeah, I think it is the same. What is the turn order? <laughs> I shoot first. Okay, but calm down with the music, Jesus. At the end of every round, the burn closes in. Okay, so it just like limits. To serve the so I'm controlling only the champion, not the monsters. Uh, we'll see how that's gonna go. I wish I would be in this line. Oh wow, okay. Perfect. Heavens! <laughs> Justice, by law, dead, I man will hold. Oh, thanks for the help. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? I shoot first. Holy cow. I shoot first. Every two turns, all heroes get a new card. Use it wisely. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna kill myself, Jesus, dude. Ready yourself. Demiers are rare in Demir battles. You only get one per match. But since this is practice, I will give you another one. Because you wrecked me. I am healed. <laughs> the hell? So I can like kill him again to not wake up. <laughs> okay.
Ah, damn it. We have support. <laughs> I feel much better. That will hold or not. So everything is the same. The images, the features, mechanics, like... I thought it's gonna be a bit reduced. Cause I would assume champions and champions is gonna be too fast, but it's not like the matches are slow at all. Like it's just hit hit hit. The hero is down. They'll be drawn to this. The question is, am I drawn to Lure? See the burn tarts closing in at the edge of the arena. Be careful with those. If you stand on them, you will take damage at the end of your turn. There's a weird space in between this world. <laughs> to serve with Val. All right, well, bye. Down. Uh -huh, and we just wait up until they revive and then die, like... When a hero dies, a they hero leave behind a tombstone. Destroying it will give the dead hero's teammate a powerful card. Who destroys it, though? What does that mean though? A powerful card. Everything is nice. This I feel much better. Feel my arrows sing. Why am I protected? I shoot first. I mean, because you can't steal monsters, now I'm kind of like reminding myself By my will, what cards are best in battles, because it's not only powered by AI, but then it transfers the... yeah, you know. By my spear, no pain. Why it gave him? <laughs> well done. The hero you defeated down. the opponent's heroes and won the match. Now you're ready to face real opponents. Good luck, champion. So what now? Do I have to skip it? <laughs> Okay, well, that was it. <laughs> the single player offers... It's kind of like a campaign for battles of some sort. Yeah, like with different challenges and then... Maybe like requirements to pass it. Overall, I think this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm thinking if I would see it in the original game and maybe, yeah. Though through the mechanics of development, I wonder if the whole game would not suffer due to the bugs and just the correlations between the... There would have to be a lot of stuff implemented to not make everything chaotic. I wonder if I would be keen to do the single player... Is it like missing the point of the whole game? <laughs> if you have a lack of Dimio experiences, this is definitely like a fun addition. Everything is like exactly the same with a PvP twist. So in that matter, you need to consider which mechanics will work for the AI and then in what moments it's good to kill the other champions and then like return to your safe space. Since essentially an expansion, nothing really new, but a nice addition to the whole series at this point. <laughs>